During the off-season, Wrightsville Beach near Wilmington, North Carolina draws residents and visitors alike to its tranquil setting. It's a place to smell and feel the salt water in the air, and a place to watch the hypnotic effects of waves rolling onto the shoreline. But the beach itself is more than this. It's a U.S. Army Corps of Engineers storm damage reduction project that's designed to break waves before they hit the beach. There's a lot of math and science involved in a storm damage reduction project. Ocean Isle, south of Wilmington, is another Corps of Engineers storm damage reduction project. Long before work begins here, engineers must figure how much sand must be pumped onto the beach and how steep the beach must be to reduce risk to lives and structures. Math and science is also used to study wave action at certain points of the beach at different times of the year. There's a lot of, lot of science. There's uh, geologists that help find the bar source. There's engineers that decide how to use the resources, which is sand on the beaches. There's economists who do the study to, to, to calculate the value of the benefits. There's cost engineers who decide the cost and the value of the project. Um, construction engineers, uh, accountants, um, who keep us straight with all the, uh, the funding. Um, uh, program analysts that go through and keep the, f the funding train from non-federal to federal. And it's, a, it's a, an algebraic equation with lots of unknown variables. And uh, Mother Nature trying to keep her at bay is you never win, you just try to hope to contain her. During National Engineers Week and throughout the year, parents and teachers are encouraged to steer students who have an aptitude for upper level math and science to explore engineering. And that kid who spends more time on the beach than in the water might just have a promising career. We watch kids on the beach where the first thing they do, they dig, they dig holes and they dig moats and they build sand castles and they're creative and do things. And as you, as you get older, you learn, you know, you can do that for a living. Um, you, you can build things and solve things for, make life better for everybody. So it's a, you know, I think like most careers, um, the ones where you're getting to help people make the, to me, make the most sense. And I feel like being able to solve problems to help general society is a great thing. To learn more about engineering, go to www.discovere.org.